all right uh what's going on guys uh moxification here so today um i'm going to show you guys how to uh add more plugins to your launch the ani and edit your launch the ani uh because someone came to me on uh, twitter today and just they didn't know how to um like change uh stuff when they launched the ani and they didn't know that you couldn't um just edit the ini like people think that you have to go on dash launch and a lot of people use dash launch and i i want to change that because you, dash launch is just so long you know like for example for example um dash launch is like a thing that you don't really want to go on when you're jtagged online because it can like make the ban chance like a little bit higher you know like if you're signed into xbox live and you forget you're signed into xbox live and you go on dash launch then you're probably going to get banned most likely not 100 percent, but you're probably going to get banned and this is just a quicker method this is like so much quicker than using um dash launch i just to, to be honest i don't even use dash launch i i haven't used dashboard f uh, dash launch for about possibly multiple months like i haven't even used dash launch like when uh updating the dashboard i just 100 percent use the launch the ani because that's all you need so uh yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh open up a neighborhood i'm gonna get my launch the ani off of the hard drive uh where is it it's launch the ani mm, there all right launch the ani so i'm drag and drop that to the root uh not to the root to the desktop so got that now uh all you can do is double click that and it scroll down to where your plugins are which is for me it's a fair amount down here we go so you've got xbdm which is for neighborhood to connect to neighborhood infernus which is the um right now the best files to get your jtag online i definitely recommend them i did a video on them um I don't use the edge files the edge files aren't good i recommend infernus uh kvs last a fair amount of time pretty good uh xdrpc for i think i use that for the um development kit function so um what was that program called uh jtag toolbox no not jtag toolbox the one by chrome xmods i forget the tool name jtag sidekick that was it so i used that for that uh, XRPC for um, a load of tools, and JRPC for a load of tools, and then in JRPC, um, I've got a load of other plugins like uh, RPC, I think Jeepers Menu, and a BLT Band Bypass. Um, and yeah, so uh, to start off, I if you want to change your plugins, you'll probably have, you could have nothing there. I highly doubt that you have nothing there. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you have some stuff uh, in the plugins. Um, and if you think that you've run out of plugins, you can't just do, uh, you can't just do enter and then plug in, uh, six equals whatever. You can't do that. The, the way to get more plugins, uh, you want to save, you know, your launch AI and you want to get JRPC and I think it's JRPC two, but for me, I've got it down as JRPC, uh, because it's a lot easier. Um, and you want to get, you know, what I'll do is I'll put my launch to AI in the description and I'll put like a load of other stuff with that. I'll put XBDM with that. I'll put Infernus with that. I'll put XDRPC with that. Uh, XRPC and JRPC. And then I'll also put the uh, plugins that I've got in JRPC. Let's find JRPC. All right, there you go. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put. I'll also put um, RPC Evaded.xex and the Jeepers menu. Uh, in there as well so all you've got to do is when you get you know the files all you've got to do is put basically everything in the raw file, uh, raw file thing on the root of your hard drive and then that way you know you can't go wrong you know and then if you want to add some extra stuff all you've got to do is open up the jrpc um yeah the jrpc.ini and then add some more there so you just copy that enter and then change that to plugin 4 and then you could go all the way down you don't have to do 5 you could do 7 you could do 10 you could do 100 i guess um but uh, yeah so that's about it uh, and then if you for example if you don't use let's open up launch the ini again if you don't use infernus and you use something else then change infernus to something else and then that's it you know so yeah so that's about it um i'll uh, leave it down on the link for the stuff that I said I'd give a download link for uh, in the description and that's what it so thanks guys moxification and I'll see you guys in the next video uh, goodbye